definite integrals. You will find this on page 3 to 5 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. Now in this example it's actually just the integration that's a little bit more complicated but the method stays the same. So basically I'm first going to multiply this term inside the bracket. Okay, and that's what I did there. And then I'm going to simplify that. Let me show you. By saying, okay, it's x, multiply x to the power of half, and that will be x to the power of one and a half, or three over two. Okay, that one is all right. Then I bring it up, and I keep the integral sign the whole time because I did not integrate yet. Now, as soon as I integrate, I make my square brackets and I just add one and I divide and I add one and I divide. And then it's, it's very good that you simplify this again before you go into that substitution. So even that half, bring it down and then go into the substitute first the four, then substitute the one and then you subtract and you get your answer. Okay, the next one. So if I look at this one, um, I'm going to follow that other rule. So just take it out of the root and bring it up. That's what I did there. Okay, this is just a constant, so it can even be in front of, of the bracket. But can you still remember that rule? It's one over negative two. So the constant multiply one over the coefficient in front of the variable. And then I just add one, I add one, and then I first simplify that whole thing. So that's where I got that, um, let's just see quickly, because this is going to give me negative a half, so it's going to be four over one, multiply one over negative two, multiply, this is going to be a half, so it's multi, if the reciprocal, multiply two over one. So this is going to be 8 over negative 2, and that will be that negative 4. And then I substitute it, and my final answer will be 8. Okay, remember, uh, definite integrals, I get a certain value at the end. Okay, I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do number A, and I want you to do a number B and the number f. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's first start with number a. There's my integration, that's 4 and 0. And then it's a square root x. x plus 2 dx. Okay, now I'm going to multiply, so that's 4 and 0. Now, don't forget, I think it's the best if, um, and I'm going to just rewrite it here on top. So it's actually x to the power of a half, multiply x plus 2. Okay, so if I multiply, then this is going to be x, now, if I multiply, I add the exponents or the indices, so it's 1 plus a half, so it's 1 and a half, plus 2x to a half. And don't forget your dx. Okay. Then, um, I'm just going to write it here still. Um, I think I can now go into, yes, this is 3 over 2, doesn't matter. So, it's going to be I can integrate now. So it's going to be x. Um, remember this is one and a half plus one. So it's going to be two and a half divided by two and a half. I think I'm rather going to write it as five over two here. Okay. Uh, you can even write it as five over two there. Plus, I will do it in the next step. And then it's two x, it's, it's now one and a half, uh, or yes, let's keep it first one and a half, and I divide by three over two. And then is my bracket, and it's four and zero. 
Okay, then this one, if I simplify this, it's going to be 2 over 5 x 5 over 2 plus, okay, now don't forget, this is going to be 2 over 1 multiply 2 over 3. That is going to be 4 over 3, okay, and x 3 over 2. Um, I think I'm going to put it back into the roots. It's going to be easier in the substitution. So if I put it back in the roots, um, I like to put the bracket always if it's two terms. So um, it's going to be, there's the x, it's 2, it's to the power of 5. So it's going to be 4 to that power of 5 plus 4 over 3, take it back to the root, it's x, so it's 4 to the power of 3, okay, close the bracket, okay, and now I'm just repeating the process, bracket, don't always assume that it will be 0, especially in, in the next chapter when there's is, okay, but for now, I think it will become zero. And close the bracket. And close the bracket. Okay. And now I'm just going to press that on my calculator. So it's 4 to the power of 5. And it's the square root. And it's 32 times 2 ABC 5 equals. It's 12 and 4 over... Five. Four and zero, okay. Two over five. It's twelve and four over five plus okay, four to the power of three. Four to the power of three equals square root equals multiply four ABC. 3 equals uh, plus 10 and 2 thirds and then that minus 0. And if I simplify that, I will just say plus that 12 ABC 4 ABC 5 equals and it's 23 and 7 over 50. That's my final answer. Okay, that was number A. Let's do number B. Okay, it's two and one. x plus 8, 3 minus x, and it's over x to the power of 4, and then don't forget your dx. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is I have to multiply out the brackets and then divide before I can integrate. So if I multiply out the brackets, um, I just... Uh, and sometimes it's good to multiply it here on the side and just write the final. So if I, I multiply, I will get 3x and then it's minus x squared. 8 times 3, I... Come on. Okay. 8 times 3, that will be 24. Minus 8x. So now it's easier if I just write now this step here. So because I wanted you to just that 3x minus 8x was negative 5x. So it's negative 5x and you divide by the x4 uh, minus x squared divided by the x4. Um, minus uh, plus 24 
divide by the x4 and it's 2 dx. Okay, I didn't integrate it, still not. Okay, so I think it's the best to, to simplify first. So it's minus 5. Can you see it's x to the power of negative 3? 1 minus 4. So it's minus x to the power of negative 2 plus 24 x to the power of negative 4 dx. Okay, now I'm going to integrate. Oh, don't forget every time to write your boundaries, your limits. Okay, now, as soon as I do this, I'm going to say minus, oh, let's just get that thing. Okay, it's going to be now negative five, x uh, plus one, if you plus one, that will be negative two, divide by negative two, minus, x, this will be a negative 1, divide by negative 1, plus 24x, ne negative 3, divide by negative 3, and my boundaries is 2 and 1. Now, first simplify that. So, if you, this, this is going to be 5 over, over, over 5 over x2, okay? Um, don't, don't forget your 2. I almost forgot the 2. Okay, so this is plus 1 over x minus 24 divided by 3. It's again 8 over x to the power of 3. And my boundaries is 2 and 1. And that's going to be equal now I'm going to substitute, so it's 5 over 2 x, oh, come on thing. Okay, there's my bracket. 5 over 2, 2, and it's going to be 2 squared plus 1 over 2 minus 8 over 2 to the power of 3 minus, in a bracket, 5 over 2 1 square plus 1 over 1 minus 8 over 1 to the power of 3, close the bracket. And if I simplify this, it's just going to give me, this is 4 times 2, so it's 5 over 8. Let's just see. Um, I could have even pressed this on the calculator. Okay, minus, it's 8 over 8, so 1 minus 5 over 2 plus 1 minus 8. Okay, and if I simplify that, um, 5 ABC 8 plus 1 ABC 2 minus 1 equals, it's 1 over 8. Oh, I prefer not a bracket there. Just move it up a little bit. It's 1 over 8 minus, so it's 5 ABC 2 plus 1 minus 8. Um, very important. It's a negative, and this is also a negative, 4 and a half. So it becomes actually a positive. Plus that 1 ABC 8. And it will be. 4, 4 and 5 over 8. That will be my final answer. Okay. It's, it's just a lot of, the method's not that difficult. I think it's just concentrating on your integration, then concentrate when you substitute. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, what is my boundary? 0 and negative 4. And what is my value? It's 4 over root 
1 minus 2x and it's dx. Okay. So let's first get it ready. So it's going to be 0 and negative 4. And take this up. So it's 4, 1 minus 2x, and that is to the power of negative half dx. So it's 0 and negative 4. Okay. And then it's 4 multiply that value in front of x. Grab that sign. Multiply, and now I just do this, 1 minus 2x. Now it's negative 1 plus 2 over 2, or plus 1, so it will be a half. And I divide by a half, and then it's 2x. Okay, so this is going to be, if, if I'm, okay, let me just do it here on the side. So it's 4 over 1 multiply negative 1 over 2, multiply that reciprocal, 2 over 1. So basically this is just going to be negative 4, because that's going to be negative 8 divided by 2, it's negative 4. Okay. Mm, I just want to see, uh, plus 1 it's a half, so definitely that is going to be negative And let's take it back to that root. It's in that root. Do you see? That's that's the. Um, okay, I made a mistake. So I'll just show you. Sometimes you're going to make the same mistakes. Did you see? Um, as soon as I integrate, as soon as I integrate. Okay, I must do what. I must put the square bracket and I must put 0 and negative 4. Okay, because there I did not integrate, but there I integrate. So no integration sign anymore. And now I can just substitute. So if I substitute now, oh, let's just get it back. It's going to be negative 4, 1 minus 2. Always the top one first, minus negative 4, 1 minus 2, negative 4. And that is going to give me, okay, so this is going to become 0, so this is just negative 4. And this is going to become, it's 8 plus 1, it's 9. And if you say the square root of 9 is 3 times, so it's negative 12. It's, I, I, I would say, if I really, I would leave those brackets out there. Because it's almost in the final now. Okay, so this is actually negative 4 plus 12, which will give me a value of 8. Okay, so the only thing that was more complicated here was, was the integration. Okay.